TV. This is Unza's first ever TV magazine show. And on this show, we bring to you every sort of information on campus, you know, through gossip, entertainment, and news. My name is Marco Mugala. And I'm Casey, also known as Campisa Manchishi. So, Campus TV, like she said, brings you local content. And on the show today, we have lots of stuff lined up for you. But just before we get into that, Marco, how was your vacation? My vacation was splendid. I spent most of it with my family and seeing that it was in the festive season. Hmm. Looks like something to look back to. So we definitely hope you had a wonderful vacation as well. Wherever you were, it might have been from the Copa Belt, you know, Momas from the Northwestern Province, Sulawesi and all those areas. We definitely welcome you back to campus. And uh, on Campus TV today, we're going to be having Unzasu President Vincent Chaile, who will come through and tell us, did he really achieve what he told us he would achieve? In yes, office. we yeah. also have entertainment, we have poetry and music from local artists and uh, well, we keep it going like that. Yeah. I know a lot of people who are poets, but we have two unique poets right here on campus and you get to meet them after this break, so keep watching. back to Campus TV, you're still locked on, and uh, before the break we say that we are going to be speaking to Mukango, who is a poet, and uh, we have him right here in the studio yeah. with us. Yeah, so as, as you know, the university is not only about uh, us being on the books, us jobbing, you know, momas and monks yeah. and all that, we have artistic people around as well, and one of those, you know, he's standing right with us. Yeah, <laughs> true. <laughs> yeah, and, and this is no other than Mukango, so when we, we talk of Mukango, we also see Jomo around. Also, yeah. time and uh, the other round, and we've seen them performing in several places. We've seen them around, and these are interesting brothers, you know. So, I mean, I, I we'll just start with who is Mukango. Well, uh, interesting. Uh, well, I, I, I think Mukango is uh, is a poet. Firstly, I think uh, more especially, I, I think we are talking about uh, poetry and the arts here. I think Mukango is a poet, a spoken word poet, who's been doing poetry for the past uh, six years professionally. But I think uh, ever since I said mama, I knew I had some poetry within me. Yeah, and um, Kango also is uh, a student uh, in the Faculty of Engineering. Yeah, fourth year student in the Faculty of Engineering. But besides that also, I'm a media personality. So uh, really it's media, art and academics. And uh, I think that's how I choose to define myself as a person, but also a very social person. Okay, yeah. and uh, what inspired you to be a poet? Uh, really, I think it's the it's desire to express myself, uh, my emotions, my thoughts, but also naturally I think poetry comes with a philosophy. And uh, for me as an Afrocentric uh, philosopher, naturally it's all about, you know, tradition and culture and uh, social commentary. But of course, I mean, we're in a political environment also, we infuse that into our poetry. Just, it's a way of communicating with society and uh, really giving to the people what's happening around our nation and our societies. So really, I think inspiration is basically the, de the desire to express myself and to inform people because our poetry is informative, I think. Informative. Yeah. Now, you, you told us you're a student here as yeah. well, and um, we know you have school that you have to handle. Yeah. So how are you managing? You know, you have to, to keep yourself as an artistic being. And at the same time, you know, you have to apply yourself as an intellectual. Because yeah. we know you're going through the same pressure that people are going through as well. Of course, as, as, of course. Especially school of engineering, you know. <laughs> yeah, 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 true, true. I, I agree with you. Uh, as a poet, I think, uh, you know, li we talk in literature, and um, literature really is academics. Uh, so in a sense, uh, it's not so much of a hiccup because, uh, you know, every time I have to read and write something. But uh, when we talk in engineering and uh, literature wow that's like science and uh, and you know yeah. the extreme the other extreme the two end. opposite ends, yeah two yeah. opposite ends yeah i think i should confess it's, it's really been uh, it's really been difficult but uh, i think everything is here everything starts from the heart i have my academics here and my poetry is here so really it's just i just keep it going like that it's challenging but that's the beauty of it it has to be challenging you can't get to a mountain top, you know, exactly. without, uh, yeah. Enduring the climb. <laughs> you, yeah, enduring <laughs> the climb. So for me, that really, I think it's something that I've embraced. Okay, so yeah. what kind of poetry do you do? Or do you do, you know, yeah. any type of poetry or this specific area of poetry that you've gotten yourself into? 
Oh yeah, exactly. Uh, I'm I'm a spoken word poet. Yeah, and uh, also a dub poetry, a dub poet rather. Dub poetry is uh, is poetry that was developed in the Caribbean, uh, Jamaica. This is poetry that that's done over dub music. Yeah, so you have dub music playing, and then you have a poet coming in and toasting, talking over the music. So that form is called dub poetry. But really, also, I think I venture into rap. Rap is R A P, rhythm and poetry. Yes. So really, I, I move across rap, spoken word, and dub poetry. Yeah, basically, I think the foundation is of poetry. Okay, so uh, maybe, yeah. you know, there, there are a lot of people on campus who may want to be like, you know, they want to express themselves but are not able to, and, uh, you know, maybe they want to try out poetry but are not able to because they think that poetry has a certain standard. So what, what do you have to say to those people? Well, yeah, I'm glad you're saying poetry has a certain standard. I think the standard is really, you know, the desire within a person to express themselves. Mm -hmm. uh, poetry is something that we've had in our tradition. We've had uh, traditional poets reciting before our, our chiefs, our kings and queens. Uh, so it's something that's very much a part of us. And uh, it, it really, when we look at uh, non-formal education, or rather the education, indigenous education and knowledge systems, poetry is also a way of teaching people communicating, you know, uh, values, social values, you know, moral values, those values that are embedded within our culture. Mm -hmm. But also, like I said earlier, you know, it's a way of uh, communicating with people what's happening, you know, in, in society on that scale. So it's social commentary, political commentary. But really, I, I think uh, if somebody has to pursue poetry, they need to have uh, a personal philosophy, what it is that they are trying to communicate to the people. And for us, really, it's, it's all cultural consciousness. I yeah. think it's uh, eno enough talking for now. So we need to get wow. to, to the action itself. Okay. <laughs> you know, I've yeah. kept people waiting. And uh -huh. um, I know they're itching to see what you have. Yeah, true. And I know true. it's something you that's itching. different to them. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you doing for us today? What, uh, what, what have you prepared? For okay, me? yeah, today I'll do a poem called uh, Far Eye. This is a poem, okay. yeah, I wrote for a certain princess. Yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> I think even rainbows fall in love. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah. we're going to uh -huh. leave you in the able hands of Mukango. Uh, yeah. And uh, yeah, he's going to do something for you right there. And we come back uh, after that performance and we'll give you more stuff. On campus TV, keep watching. Bless. Yo, what's up, people? Love and greetings to one and all. Yeah, just presenting a poem to you called Far Eye. Blessed love. This is a poem I wrote for a certain princess. Yeah, enough love for the princess still, you know. If I should truly expediently express myself without a lie, that would certainly ascertain just how honestly hard I try. The so-called social intercourse, but of course none to get me high. None girl to generate that orgasmic frenzy as would an ecstatic touch on a thigh. Leaving me with no question, no word to mention, but barely just why. Why carry on and not just constantly cry? Why have a darling and not just definitely die? But if I should live on and have megabytes of bites and a taste of that piece of pie, of brains and beauty twinkling and shining like a stars in the sky. If I should ask for the wings of love to help me fly, to verily resuscitate, elevate and fly me far eye, then without a doubt, that name is Far Eye. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Was that me? Oh my. Well, before I drown in a love well, it's bye bye. Campus TV, oh, blessed. Respect. You're still locked on to Campus TV, and I'm here with Antonio, a.k.a. Yellow Dove, a.k.a. God's favorite rapper. Uh, he's here to perform for us a song called To The Sky. Tell us a bit about that song. Well, um, To The Sky was birthed um, at a time in my life when I was facing a whole lot of uh, troubles. And um, after I overcame them, a lot of people were telling me, hey, how do you manage to do what you do? So. Um, I had to reply to tell them in this song that it's all about Jesus. So when you trust in God, you put your head to the sky, he's going to direct your path. Okay. Yeah. Now, I understand that you're also a student and a DJ at uh, Unza Radio. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I wonder how do you manage to balance this up with your music career? Well, um, I, I look at it as an advantage because... Um, all these three aspects of my life kind of work together. Um, doing mass communication um, also involves a lot of presenting and the music is involved, obviously. So um, it, it's time management at the end of the day and um, working hard. Okay. Yeah. 
Uh, any upcoming projects that your fans should expect this year? Yeah, um, I've been quiet for two years, um, so um, I've been busy writing um, my book, which is, um, I know it's different, um, it's not the album that people expect, but hey, also watch out for two albums that will drop this year. Um, my own album will be called Better Than Sex, and um, doing another album with my kid cousin called Yellow Mama, which will be called Sunday School. Hey, yellow dog, yeah. yellow mama, and I like that combination. I'm also Thank loving the, the stunners, you know. Oh, talk to me nicely. Wish after I could the have show. my own pair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, so at this point, I'm sure your fans can't wait for the performance, and uh, so I invite you, yellow dog, to perform to the sky. Enjoy. Yeah, ha. it's a Galatians 6 verse 9 presentation. Past the yellow dove, I keep my head to the sky, baby. I stay fly, fly. I stay high. Hey. I keep my head to the to the to the sky. I stay fly, fly. I stay high. Hey. I keep my head to the to the to the sky. Now I won't stop. I know I'm heading to the top. I keep my head to the to the to the sky. Now I won't stop. I know I'm heading to the top. I keep my head to the to the to the sky. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey. Keep my head to the to the to the sky. Whoa, 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 hey. Get my head to the, to the, to the sky hey. I started off as being a radio addict I passion for the game but my dreams were static Used to sell ice blocks in a school tax shop Just to raise some money for my first single And that's the reason why I called it Born to Win As easy I survived the recycle bin But I wore the same clothes they called me always I forgot about the load and this perfect promise It's partly because I was a laughing stock Man I used to be a punchline of every job Was in my 7th grade but your boy still couldn't read Some of the teachers even told me I would never succeed But I refused to believe what people had said Only considered what God said over my life And that's the reason why your boy is now so mellow Can now say keep the change and call me yellow I stay fly, fly. I stay high I keep my head to the to the to the sky. I stay fly, fly. I stay high. I keep my head to the to the to the sky. Now I won't stop. I know I'm heading to the top. I keep my head to the to the to the sky. Now I won't stop. I know I'm heading to the top. I keep my head to the to the to the sky. Whoa, 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 whoa. Keep my head to the to the to the sky. Uncle Misha can introduce me to rap Just about the same time I said seeing his crap But little did I know he was about to die And just before he did, he gave me his mic Who rap about things that the devil would dislike His stage name used to be the Yellow Dove And so to take it up, I never hesitated Cause his last words were I finished what I started And so here I am, I represent a dove But I make a sound of a cut and that's because I don't want you to tell me I can't do anything that I was destined to do. I stay fly, fly. I stay high. I keep my head to the to the to the sky. I stay fly, fly. I stay high. I keep my head to the to the to the sky. Now I won't stop. I know I'm heading to the top. I keep my head to the to the to the sky. Now I won't stop. I know I'm heading to the top. I keep my head to the to the to the sky. I know I'm heading to the top. I keep my head to the to the to the sky. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Keep my head to the to the to the sky. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Keep my head to the to the to the sky. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I keep my head to the to the to the sky. Fly by production. <laughs>
You dig? Get my head to the, to the, to the sky You still locked on to Campus TV, Unza's first ever TV magazine show. And uh, that was a good performance by Ben B, don't you think? Yeah, I gotta love the energy that Ben B was bringing through, the vibe, as we said, you know. As a job B, you also need to watch, you know, this kind of thing. So all the time that you have to be in the lib, you know, job B's, you come through and watch the moments, monks, you know, Zambezi, wherever you are, come through and watch that. So moving on from Ben B, we're going to be having a guy that's very interesting. He's somebody that's, whose voice you've heard, you know. On Unza Radio, mm -hmm. who could that be? Fact, <laughs> that is DJ Drastic, aka Mr. Fantastic, aka, AKA Mr. Romantic, He's aka got so many nicknames, and they all rhyme. I wish I could do that. <laughs> yeah, I wish I could do that as well. His name itself is an aka. You no, know? you could, you could actually do that. You could find an aka for yourself. And for ladies yourself. and gentlemen, this is Drastic, DJ Drastic, Hi, people, aka Hi. Mr. Fantastic, Mr. aka Mr. Romantic. Mr. Romantic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, he's true on the show. And just to calm you down. I'm so excited. <laughs> I am so excited. Remember, it's not it's not the TV, it's the show. It's not the TV. Oh, yeah. Don't worry. Oh, yeah. It gets you in the common room and you're surprised. Yeah. This is the first ever, you know, show of its kind. So, Mr. Romantic. Mr. Fantastic. Who is, who is Drastic? Um, drastic is just a simple guy uh, who loves being on the radio. And uh, when I'm on the radio, I really do what I do best. Uh, I like to play music for people mm -hmm. and communicate to certain people like... Uh, one of my shows. I won't talk about that unless <laughs> if you allow me to or you ask me a question concerning the shows that I do on the radio. Okay, so I understand you're a student as well. So I Drast am. Drastic is a student. I mean, we're bringing him on because there's somebody that you know, somebody that you've seen. So, I mean, tell us about Drastic, the student. I am a student and uh, when I'm not on radio, I do have a lot of time for, for school. Yeah. Um, I think it, all it takes is discipline on how you go about doing certain things. So you might say, you might think, no, being on radio takes up a lot of time. It does take up a lot of time, but if you're disciplined, you'll be able to balance both school and the other things that you do. Okay, so I know, I mean, on campus, there's lots of stuff that um, people watch, people see you as you move around. And I know I've heard people saying DJs are too pompous and, you know, DJs are full of themselves and they're all that. So I want you to, you know... Don't feel any don't you remember, just remember them. Tell the moments, tell the monks, you know. I mean, what, what do you think about that? How's, I, how's a DJ on campus? Like, am I know? looking pompous right now? <laughs> <Well>. <laughs> anyway, um, I think uh, anywhere you go, you find that there, there are people who will be pompous in a way, you know. It's not only in our circles where we're doing the DJing thing. You can go to an organization, even just a bank, okay. You find that there are certain tailors who will assist uh, their customers in a much more friendlier way than other other tailors or other guys who are working uh, at that particular place. So it all depends. Uh, I don't think I'm that kind of person because I like to socialize, I like to talk to people. That's the main reason why I'll be on radio and I'll be there, you know, speaking to somebody out there. Yeah. Okay, okay. so also, you know. I'm sure there's you know, a big <laughs> question, one of your nicknames, Mr. Romantic. So is there a special lady attached to that name? Okay. I mean, I mean, there's a lady right here, but you know, is there special? Exactly. Special lady. Okay, I'll I'll, I'll start by uh, talking about this show that I do on Unza Radio. That's uh, on Thursdays, twenty one to twenty four. I call it the Romantic Ride. Now, why do I call it the Romantic Ride? Uh, simply because I try to do romantic things. You know, certain things uh, that uh, people will love when they hear or when you do them for that particular person. Now, coming back to your question, where you're talking about. Do I have that special somebody? <laughs> that makes you, know, you, you, you know, who it's, makes it's, you it's, Mr. Romantic? It's, yeah, what makes me Mr. Romantic? Who makes me Mr. Romantic? Mm -hmm. uh, you find that most of the time, DJs will have a hard time talking about the people that they care about. But I do have somebody. I don't even, I just don't know <laughs> if I have to mention that person's name right now. But yeah, I have someone very, very beautiful. Okay, coming back to how you're managing. I mean, how are you doing it? This is cool. And then... There's the work that you're doing as a DJ, so how do you go about that? You need to prepare adequately for your show. At the same time, you need to be in class. You need to job, as it were. 
Yeah, okay. One thing you should understand about radio is you have shifts, okay? So it's you look at it in terms of how you spend an ordinary day when you're not doing anything. So if if you are just here for school and you do not do other things, how much time do you spend on sleeping? So you find somebody who spend about four hours just sleeping and... Uh, the same four hours, I could use it to be on radio. So I don't see any difference between the two. So I have three hours on radio today and probably just 30 minutes to go to the internet and just search for a few things that I have to do my show using, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. yeah? Anyway, so, when, when the lights are patched, you know, something that I'm actually working on is that drastic. It's still yeah, fantastic, you know, and I, I just can't get that coming, you know. <laughs> is there okay. something with the... You know, the voice that's coming out, no homo or anything, but okay, the voice okay, is just okay. coming out mellow and, you know, golden and all that. Well, I, 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 uh, that's one secret about radio, yeah? People love to hear someone who can, who can speak and they'll love it, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there's, there's no secret. You have to be yourself, of course. You don't want to go on radio and start sounding like somebody else. Sound exactly. like yourself, only sound romantic you know <laughs> or something like that if you if, if you like you know yeah so i'm sure you guys are doing the same i've heard her voice is very beautiful yours is good as well yeah it's good i won't it's say it's beautiful well. but it's good hers is nice you know no, that, that's that's great to hear so i'm gonna do something that's gonna bum you off right now okay please as a monk bring it on and what's the best moment that you've had on camp okay especially as drastic best moment that i've had on camp I have to really think about that one, but uh, right now this is one of uh, uh, those exciting moments. Mm. Seen to it that it's the first ever, you know, and I'm actually appearing appearing on the first ever TV campus magazine show, you know. But uh, there've been other times, like uh, the time that I met that special one. That was very very exciting because it just happened like poof, and here I am, happy and feeling good all okay. the time so i know there's lots of people that are watching i don't know if mark knows of people that want to be djs you know people want to get on air they want to present they want to do the fun stuff they only look at the fun side of it but uh as we come to the close of uh of, of this short chat that we we have in what would be a word to people like that okay um if you want to be a dj or should i call him a presenter as we like to say uh, the first thing is you need to have a lot of interest in what you do, you know, in what you want to do. It, it doesn't matter. You could, be, you could be a lawyer and everything else. But if you don't have interest to read those books and the laws and everything, then you will certainly not make a good lawyer. So if you want to be a lawyer, you definitely have to consider having that passion for that particular field that you want to go into. Now, for being a DJ, obviously, you can hear the way I'm talking right now. So <laughs> you definitely need to have a good voice for radio. You need to have confidence. Yeah, that's just one of the things. And there are a whole lot of other things like interpersonal communication skills. Because when you're on radio and you do not communicate properly with your listeners, they'll probably tune to another radio station and you don't want to do that. Yeah. And then you have to be diverse. Yeah. Diversity. You have to be versatile. Uh, listen to, uh, you need to listen to all kinds of music. So if you're told uh, you're playing Kalindula, for instance, yeah. Yeah you'll be able to play that, uh, that Kalindula that is expected you to play for the people in order to enjoy. Okay, so just one last thing. Yeah. I mean, we talked of you as a DJ and uh, everything. What, what kind of, uh, what genre of music do you play? Okay, uh, right now, since I'm Mr. Romantic, mm -hmm. uh, I play on Thursdays a slow show where I just uh, play the romantic R&B and uh, yeah, just slow stuff. During the weekends, I also play another show. That's on Saturdays, 21 to 24, where I play up-tempo music. That's just uh, different kinds of music. Less Zambian, though, but yeah, music that you can dance to and uh, that sort, sort of stuff. You've hit me with a lot of questions. And she hasn't yeah, said I mean, anything the whole time. So, you know, you know I'm, I'm I don't know. Maybe a, she's amused with the way no, I'm talking. See, I just saw the last interview, so I'm just giving him chances. Okay, okay. She's coming up with some, some AKAs. But, um, oh, yeah, AKA. <laughs> so, probably by the time we're done, she's going to give you some uh, AKAs that, I mean, drastic wherever it goes, it lives. Past semester, we expected more than we than what has been exhibited. 
Uh, we thought he was a man of action, as uh, he had proclaimed, but um, right now I can say uh, HH has not really stood up for his word because I haven't seen any change. But um, he has continued to try to unite the students for to be one. But really, as for the university, Unzasu and HH as a whole have not done much for us. Those who are standing is that uh, make sure your manifestos are not so deceitful. Do not proclaim changes that you cannot make. So if you have a manifesto and um, you give it to the people, people are expecting that change. So say what you can do and don't uh, just say things so that people can vote you into power because you end up being seen as a liar. Uh, basically, 20 months of uh, former US presidents uh, in the sense that uh, many people have for a time, when you look at the previous ones, um, thought them to be like the Jesus on the cross, but most of them changed to be devils on the cross. So with the coming of a church uh, way back uh, in, the, in this um, academic year, that was the first academic year, the previous academic year that is, uh, many, many people thought that it would be actually the Jesus on the cross. Um, and to a large extent, he proved to be one, uh, though some critics, like personally, I would still claim that he somehow proved to be the devil on the cross, in the sense that he never fulfilled much of uh, his promises as he said to be uh, but he tried really his best and um, I've looked at him looking at how he has performed I think he can be just regarded as um, uh, Yunzasus Moses uh, he promised to lead the, the, the students to the promised land of Canaan but unfortunately midway he had his own weaknesses and therefore had to leave uh, so with those coming, I think, um, I'm sure and I hope that they'll be like now the, the Joshua's we're waiting for so they can lead us to the promised land of uh, student uh, representation, real student representation, uh, the, 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 the promised land of uh, where all the needs of the students will be actually attended to. The promised land where students will feel comfortable that they do have uh, their leader, that is. So that is what we are looking at uh, for those that are to come and so on. We really need to look at them as the, uh, the Yunzasu Joshua's. We need to continue from where um, HH, the Yunzasu Moses, actually ended from so that they, they might actually or may lead us to uh, the promised land of uh, student excellence, student um, uh, prestige, if you can just take it. Africa gives the ball to Africa. Africa pass it on to international. International to president and president scores. Welcome viewers to the sports segment right here on your favorite magazine show, Campus TV. And uh, I am the guy who does the sports. So you can simply call me the sports guy. But uh, my name is Atika Rashidesh and definitely I'll be bringing you non-stop updates, reviews on everything that's happening campus-wise in terms of sport. Could be rugby, football, soccer, tennis, hey, baseball, basketball, whatever sport it might be, even chess. Hey, this is your show and definitely, hey, let us know if you got any fixtures and uh, definitely be there to fume and uh, just uh, put it on tape to show to the rest of the university community about uh, what's happening here at campus. So it's a uh, Campus TV, and this is a sports segment, and I'm your local favorite guy, the sports guy, and uh, definitely I'll be here every, every time the show is. And uh, hey, do make a debt with me, and uh, definitely I'll be looking forward to seeing you running, jogging, or doing anything sporty, and uh, just to offer you some water if you're thirsty. So hey, I'll catch you soon, and uh, definitely looking forward to the weekend. So many games being played, Bankless Premier League. You must know, Unza is the best place to watch soccer from. And I can tell you the best places to actually go and watch the soccer from. We have, uh, uh, you know, international common room, Kafiwe common room, even at the vet. Those are the places to be if you want excitement and you just want to enjoy a good game of soccer with the rest of the students. So, looking forward to seeing you in one of the common rooms to watch that Bankless Premier League or Spanish La Liga. And uh, also looking forward to seeing you at, uh, you know, at the gym, on the gym, our very own. If you can see, I'm actually trying to, you know, pump up one or two muscles here and there. So, hey, do stick around and stick around on uh, the sports segment with your guy. I'll catch you all later. Wow. So we're going straight into the news and gossip segment and uh, this is where we give you news uh, that's been happening whilst you were away and we also give you gossip and uh, these are confirmed or and confirmed reports so we still bring them out to you. Um, without wasting much time, let us go straight into the first story that we have. So mature students are saying they are ready to face 
the full-time students head on if um, the students are not going to stop the vice of hailing insults at them during the night, you know, in, in the hostels and sleeping quarters. It's a situation where students, I think it's a known, it's a known vice, even you who is watching right now, you probably experience it. Students go out, some of them get drunk, but some of them are just, uh, it's just a habit. They come back and they hail insults. You know, it could be at the MoMAs, it could be at the Job Bees, it could be at anyone. It could even be at Casey, who knows? So they do this and the mature students are saying they're getting disturbed. And uh, some of the distance students say they are ready to face the full-time students because some of them were being taught by these people. Matures who are here, some of them were teachers. They taught these people and it's disrespectful for them to be, to be shot at, as, as we say, as we call it. So they're saying if the students don't want to respect themselves, they will help them. Respect themselves. Exactly. <laughs> so watch out. Watch out. Some uh, distance of mature students somewhere there, you know, is, is going to be answering you back. And... Um, Moving on as well, we have a gossip story. This is um, something that was happening as well, something that, that's happened and we think you should know about. Some of you might have heard this story, but you definitely have not heard it on campus TV, your number one gossip spot, you know. So here, a monk and a mama were caught, you know. And that, that's very general, but I'm breaking it down for you. <laughs> a monk and a mama were caught. Mm -hmm. And uh, these two were making out, or nearly making out in a house. Now, the funny thing is that the monk has a best friend who's a student here as well. Now, this, this monk is actually a former monk here. He's said to have been a president, vice president of uh, Unzasu. So they go to a club and um, they meet with this girl there, who's the best friend's girlfriend. And uh, after some time, because there were very few patrons, these people begin to dance together. The situation gets exotic. And uh, as they leave, they were seen also kissing and uh, caressing, you know, and, and all that which happens when people are about to make out and that kind of thing. So monks that saw this situation happening quickly tipped off uh, the, the, the boyfriend to this to this mom. Mm. And as it were, I mean, it was a monks. Superb. They rushed over to, to the house of this gentleman, former vice president of Unzasu. And remember, that is still an unconfirmed report. So they got to this house and they found the, the mom half naked and cooking. For the gentlemen so we're not concluding anything we're not saying anything but that is the report as we received it wow the things that happen on campus i i'm definitely surprised at that but uh, <laughs> well, you know a lot of things yeah, happen on campus it's a community on its own it so that's been happening in case you didn't know about that there you have it on campus tv And, uh, you know, if, if, you, if you've missed any shows, any segments on this show that you would still like to look at, uh, you can still log on to www.igroove.com and uh, you can just click on Campus TV and, uh, you know, the footage will be there. You can still catch us there. In case you need to send us a comment or any story that you need us to cover or anything that you need us to know about, all you have to do is type your comments and uh, send them to Campus TV at igroovemusic.com. And uh, once again, like Marcus said, you could log on to www.igroovemusic.com and click on the Campus TV tab right there. And you'll be able to access this and uh, much more content. You get everything that's uh, short on this program and you'll be able to, to watch it and, uh, you know, get personal with it and yes. learn what you can learn from there. And another thing, you know, in case you're afraid of giving us some juicy gossip, you know, <laughs> if you want, if you don't want to be known, if you want to remain anonymous, you can tell us that and we will keep your information confidential. Remember, some of them are unconfirmed reports, but on campus TV, we push ourselves to maintain the highest levels of professionalism. And uh, that is exactly our standard. That's the lowest of standard we can go to, professionalism. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's, that's, that's for you to do the math. So that brings us to the end of our segment on news and gossip. We have so much more content on the next show as well.